All right, so I've been asked about this a few times and people have asked about what is my morning routine? And I wanted to share my life-changing morning routine, which I've used to 15X my net worth, to lose 30 pounds and keep it off, to being transformation in my life in many ways, to cover my living expenses through my passive income. And a lot of it has just come from the routine that I do in the first 10 to 20 minutes of the day. Now, I am not a morning person. I actually more enjoy the evenings, but I think that whenever, whatever time you get up, there's people that believe in the miracle morning, right? You get up at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. before God wakes up and you're out doing this stuff, which is great. But I'm gonna share on a very personal level, and actually, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna leave this video up because it's very, very personal. I'm gonna share some real deep things about my life, my faith, and so, um, you know, take a look at it, watch it. I may end up taking it down, but I uh, wanted to at least, you know, give a, a light into some things that I do because it's been very helpful for me and I'd love to see if it can create some transformation in your life. So we'll go over in three steps and then I've got an awesome quote for you at the end. Stick around. All right, so the first thing that I do is I go through reading my affirmations and goals. And you might feel like an affirmation seems a little cheesy, you're saying this about yourself, you're looking in the mirror and saying, I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like me, right? <laughs> and it can kind of feel that way a little bit, at least in the beginning, but it is so powerful because we all speak to ourselves in some ways. We say things, a lot of times that are very negative, we wouldn't speak to a friend that way, but we speak to ourselves this way. So we need to change that. So here's a way that I do it. It usually takes me about five to 10 minutes in the morning. I do this while I'm waking up. I do it while I'm shaving and it gives me the fuel and the intention for the day. So I'm going to share about two types of affirmations that I do. And again, this takes me probably about 10 minutes to go through, maybe probably five minutes to read these. So I go through them very quickly, but I'm going to share one with you. All right. And this is basically, I've got 14 of these. These are general affirmations. And it's basically, I Bronson am strong and confident even when things don't go perfectly or I faith face criticism, right? So what am I doing? Why did I write that? Well, I wrote that in a time in my life where I felt I had gone through a big defeat in my personal life. And I really felt like, you know, um, I don't feel strong. I don't feel confident. I want to feel that way, but I don't. And when things don't go perfectly or I'm criticized, that's difficult for me, right? So as I started saying this, I started to be able to become that person. And it's weird how when you speak something, it actually can create a real powerful creative force in your life. Uh, I have you know, affirmations in this area about faith, about identity, about focus, people, et cetera. Um, and they're very, very personal. So please keep that between us. But you, know, you can see very per how personal that is to me in that case. The other one I actually got from a friend of mine who said, why don't you go through and write your God story affirmations or remembering what God has done for you. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this, my own kind of background as, as a follower of Jesus. You may have a different belief system. You may believe in other things. That's totally fine. You can still use this to remember what you feel God or what you feel, uh, you know, uh, the creative power in, in the force, you know, the universe has done for you. So I think it's really important to do it, but it leads to a place of gratitude and it leads to a place of really remembering, right? So for me, um, I wrote this one. It says in middle school, I got in fights and I didn't like myself and I didn't know I was dearly loved by God. I prayed, God, if you're real, you can change me. So again, this was at a time when I was in middle school, I didn't know even God was real and I was in fist fights regularly. I was just kind of a scrapper and I, I just had a bad attitude. And, but I remember, I remember being there and I didn't know this, that I was loved by God. So to me, it's, it's a great remembrance just to remember I was at that place in my life. Now that's one of 10 or 12 of these that I read. It kind of, you know, there's a flow to all this and I read them every morning. So it just reminds me, it reminds me of, oh, I was there and this is kind of a place that I was, uh, I was at. And so those are things that I do, the affirmations. I encourage you to take a look at that, try to put some affirmations together that can be helpful for you. Uh, the second thing that I do is Bible reading and prayer. Now, um, a lot of people know, yeah, you know, I should read the Bible, I should read scripture, I could, should do spiritual reading, I should pray, I should talk to God, but I just don't have the time, I'm really busy. So some things that I do to kind of help make this happen is I use, there's an app called the Daily Audio Bible, and I listen to it every day. It goes through the entire Bible in a, re in a year. I can speed it up, you can slow it down, I can do it on a walk, I can do it in the car, I usually end up doing it in the car when I'm dropping my daughter off for school, or I'll sit down, there's actually a paper version too, you can read it. And then I try to just spend time, some time talking to God, saying, hey God, this is what's going on in my day, right? Here's what's happening, here's what I'm worried about, here's what I'm concerned about. And I think prayer is just that, it's just talking to God and listening, right? Just talking and listening. So that's part of my morning routine. I think it's really powerful. I think it keeps me humble just saying, hey, I really need to rely on God to help me through this day because there's a lot of challenges coming up. There's a lot of big things I wanna do. So those are a couple of things. The third thing really is gratitude. 
And the third thing that's life-changing, and if you're not practicing gratitude, um, my guess is your joy is probably not as much as it should be. And that's a big statement to say, but it, there is a huge link between gratitude and joy. So I use this here. This is called a gratitude journal. I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like and I want to read something uh, you know, for it from you. So I've got this here. Uh, this is my gratitude journal. And basically this is what I wrote down this morning. This just has places in here that you can write stuff down. So I wrote down for today, um, I said, well, you know, what am I grateful for? Well, I'm grateful for Belize. I'm actually going to Belize, the country of Belize tomorrow for the Real Estate Guys Summit. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm excited. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for friends at work. I'm thankful for my health and I'm thankful for my bed. I really like my bed, especially after I'm tired. So this is a gratitude journal. There's many things out there. If you search gratitude journal on Amazon, you can find some. They just got a few spaces, but finding three to three to five things to be grateful for and really leaning in, just saying like, you know, I really want to experience just a real, in my heart, this sense of gratitude for the people, for the things in my life, because as humans, we don't realize what we have until it's threatened or it's taken away. So, uh, you know, take 10 minutes in the morning, start doing this. Um, I had another uh, one recently that I did that basically talked about, uh, you know, how do you crush your goals? And I, I shared this uh, sheet here. This is some of my goals for the year having to do with money and my daughter, different things. You can check that video out. Um, and then I've got, you know, my personal goals and my mission statement on the back. So you can check that out um, on that uh, previous video. It's just a couple videos earlier than this video. But I want to read this for you from Brené Brown. Brené Brown has come become one of my favorite authors. I would say this book right here, The Gifts of Imperfection, this has become my favorite book. This book is 150 pages and it is just so amazing, actually not even 150 pages, but it is an amazing book. Just gets down to what does it mean to live a wholehearted life. So highly, highly, highly recommend that book. Um, she says this, Brené Brown says, I never talk about gratitude and joy separately. For this reason, and she's a researcher, in 12 years, I've never interviewed a single person who would describe their lives as joyful, who would describe themselves as joyous, who is not actively practicing gratitude. So if you're not actively practicing gratitude, being grateful for things in your life, um, whether it's a gratitude journal or it's just reflecting and being in a park and say, wow, God, thank you for this, or I'm just, I'm just grateful to be alive, you're not gonna experience joy. And it's just amazing that it took me years and years and years to figure that out, but I'm so grateful for Brene to talk about that. But the more time I spend being grateful, the more it allows me to really experience that joy. So I hope that you experience joy. I hope you enjoyed this video. It felt really personal for me to share this. If you did enjoy it, I'd love to hear from you. If you wanna share it, you know, share it with a friend or a family member, but realize it is pretty personal to me. Um, check out this video up here that I did about developing a wealth mindset. Um, you know, what does it take to have a mindset to be wealthy, right? Wealthy is not just something you do, it's really, uh, you know, something that you are. And so how do you change these affirmations? How do you change the story so that you can have that kind of mindset? And so there's some really helpful things in there. But I want you to stick in the comments below, what is your morning routine? I'm always looking to learn. I know our community would love to, if you, you take five, 10, 20 minutes in the morning, what is it you do in the morning that you find transformational has helped you. So anyway, it felt like a real journey to kind of take you in here, friends. I hope you enjoyed this and it was, it was fun making this, but I look forward to seeing you on the next video.